Well, at the top of the show, we talked about the HBCU funding. The story's been circulating by the Associated Press that $45 billion was supposed to be earmarked for HBCUs. Now that's been cut down to $2 billion. Let's talk with Victor Santos with the Thurgood Marshall Fund. Thurgood Marshall Fund, of course, uh, they are out here representing uh, these public uh, HBCUs. Victor, what is the truth? We had Leslie Baskerville on talking about it as well. I'm sure y'all have gotten phone calls on this. Was there ever... $45 billion in a budget proposal or in a bill from the Biden administration, from Democrats, from Republicans to HBCUs? No. So what the what the proposal was, was for HBCUs and minority serving institutions. So you have to understand what minority serving institutions means. HSIs, there are 569 of them. Uh, there are only 101 HBCUs. To give you an example of what some of these HSIs look hold on, like. Hold on, you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. You said HSI. Mm -hmm. What is that? Hispanic Serving Institutions. Okay? That okay. means. So you, you said that there are 101. You said, you said, you, oh, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. You said there okay. are 101 HBCUs. Mm -hmm. Correct. 500 and what? His, Hispanic Serving 60, Institutions? 69 and growing. Okay. So to give you an example. So 569, 101, that's 670. Correct. That, that, but you also have uh, Got it. You also have tribal colleges. So, so we're only getting a percentage of that money to begin with. Okay. Uh, and to give you an example of what these HSIs look like, your alma mater, Texas A&M, is an HSI. So when Leslie was talking about. The Are you couple, serious? I'm very serious. If you serve 25% at least, Hispanic students, you are an HSI, okay? So, for that money that is proposed, in the, in, and when Leslie was talking about the coupling earlier, this is what she was talking about. She was talking about, don't put HBCUs in the same pot to apply for this money against Texas A&M, University of Texas. Basically, the entire universe, California system, they're all HSIs. Every school in Florida is an HSI because they serve at least 25% Hispanic students. Okay, so was there ever a number? So where does this forty-five billion come from? Yeah, so there was a there was a number in the American Jobs Plan that Biden uh, put out that included uh, some funding for infrastructure, along with uh, some centers of excellence, two hundred centers of excellence that would have gone to HS all, all HBCUs and MSIs, which you know, to be quite frank, is more than half of the you know, the schools that are in existence uh, in total, when you include all the HSIs, all the all, all the PBIs, which are predominantly black institutions, HBCUs, it's a gamut that runs across the across the the, the, the spectrum. So when we say decoupling, is what we mean is this: we have to make sure that HBCUs have a pot of money that they can apply for and compete against other HBCUs for. That's what we've been pushing for, and that's what we've been uh, urging Congress to do. Okay, so this thing is being spread like wildfire. People say mm -hmm. all sorts of different things. And so what is being spread is factually incorrect, and so it looks right. real cute. Oh, the Democrats and Biden are cutting, going from $45 billion to $2 billion for HBCUs. You know, uh, we, right, right now, the, the, there is no two billion for HBCUs. There is no two. The, the, the two billion dollars is for all MSI HBCUs to compete, as was the forty-five billion. Now, what there is also in the plan, which we have to we have to highlight the positives of the plan, is there is a tuition assistance program for HBCUs and MSIs for the first two years, where students would basically be able to go to our schools for free. Uh, for those first two years, and that's in the and that's in the plan as well. There's also a billion dollars in the Department of Agriculture for HBCUs in the plan. There's also a billion dollars for HBCUs in the Department of Commerce in the plan, uh, or in the bills that have got, gone through the House Committee. So there are lots of things in the bill. Uh, of course, uh, I advocate for HBCUs, and we're fighting for more money for HBCUs as as, as is our job to do. Uh, but we have to, you know, be truthful about what's really what's really happening. 
Well, that's precisely why uh, we wanted uh, you on the show, why we wanted Leslie on the show, so we can actually have the details. Uh, and so uh, people who are spreading that Associated Press and that Newsweek story have the actual facts. We also are trying to get Congressman Bobby Scott uh, on the show as well, other members of the CBC, to explain this so people are not walking around saying a whole bunch of crap. They have no idea what the hell they're talking about. It's very important, and thank you for giving us a platform to talk about it. Victor, so appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Folks, back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches! Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks phenomenal, so I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I gotta defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with rolling all the way. Honored to be on a show that you own, a Black man owns the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. Wow. Rolling was amazing on that. Stay black, I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig?